side there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Nada sacrificing his vultures to do some economic damage, but he still has mines all over the field, so he just now he's going to be able to lay in game. He has some Goliaths alongside, still upgrading something machine shop. I'm not quite sure if that's Siege or not, adding machine shops everywhere, so he's going to produce a lot of tanks now. Iris is just going to go for the counterattack with two Goliaths and four tanks. Now it's all going to come down to when it is that Nada has his Siege ready. I'm not quite sure if it is Siege. Okay, and has no finish at this point. Now he's going to wait. Who goes in? Iris has some vultures moving in, putting down mines. Comset going down for Nada. So now it is very dangerous for Nada's position. He's being forced to pull some mines off the line. There are a lot of vultures along that mine. Tanks and Goliaths blocking in. Civis moving in very close to kill the tanks. Some of the tanks being killed now. Ooh! Big blast there. The tanks actually using the Civis to be able to shoot from a distance and now Nairis is going to put the pressure on and actually try to hold uh, Nada inside of his base but I think Nada at this point has enough tanks to push this back he has his CVs repairing his tanks Iris trying to move in close with his vultures planting down mines should he should be able to do this pretty successfully tanks pretty close to each other but all oh, the vultures one single tanks go down and all the vultures going down, down and the mines also get prevented and I think Iris at this point is going to be pushed back so Nada has created a pretty decent sizable force he's not going to be able to push back right away there are quite a few mines out there and Iris still going to try to put the pressure still has one tank at a distance. He's gonna try to fire back, but I think at this point, Nada's gonna be able to clear the start pretty simply. And now, Iris might be a little bit weak because he probably has used most of his forces just to try to put all that pressure. So, I'm not really sure what to think. Another Rack's being added in by Iris. He apparently lost his, so uh, Nada's just gonna sit a little bit outside of his expansion at this point. Two ports being added in, actually, so he's gonna go. Oh my god, maybe even adding in three starports adding in. Oh, four, four starports four. adding in. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, HD, what do you think he's going for here? Because, I mean, I would usually try to give a prediction, but at four starports, I lose my mind. Yeah, man, I don't know what is going on right now with Nada, but at the same time, Iris here moving in with Vultures. He's trying to do his own economic harass here, picking off a couple SCVs, I think. He is pushing in, but Nada is going to bring his tank force around the back, and he's going to be able to deal with this quite easily. He does lose a few SCVs, however. Um, both players just doing great tank Vulture micro, really pushing each other back and forth, back and forth, and look at that quadruple starport for Nada. I don't even know what to say about this, and I know you guys are watching. You guys should be thinking about commentary should know what's going on but four starports okay now down to three I still think okay with these starports Nada is gonna have the mobility he needs now the question is what is he gonna produce is he gonna go for dropships I don't think so because he doesn't have control towers down so it's gotta be raids he must be switching up his build right now and this is gonna be very interesting to see how Iris counters this Wow Nada just of a play much higher than 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 what you would normally see in any Terran player anywhere on Battle.net and Iris as well doing a great job uh, both players pushing out mining the fields out and when players push out that's a chance for vultures to come in and just swoop down on the natural expansion as we saw Nada do earlier when Iris initially pushed out now Iris is pushing out again is his uh, is his natural expansion covered though because vultures could do another run by if Nada chooses to do so we do see Iris also grabbing a third expansion at this point so Iris running at three Nada running at two still I believe and uh, we, we do see both players just combating each other fighting each other desperately for terrain and we do see rates coming out for Nada. Nada going for three port rates. Complete tech switch at this point. Wow, this is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, but the, the problem with rates is he's not going to have the mobility that uh, he would have had had he gone for dropships. So now he's going to have a very immobile ground force, but he'll have rates to go harass with. And I don't know if Iris has any, any Goliaths. To, he does have armory up, so he can produce Goliaths. But I don't know if he's going to have enough Goliaths to deal with three port rates. There's going to be a lot of rates coming into Iris's base soon. Nada here, running back with Vultures. Vultures just firing grenades at each other all over the map. And he is going to prevent the ra the Vultures from coming in and scouting the, the starport. I think uh, yeah, there's troops coming in for Iris. Iris is going to push in, but Nada does not want to reveal his three-port raid. I don't think Iris knows yet. Now we see more siege tanks just firing at each other over the cliffs. Just massive terrain battles here. Neither player want to, wanting to give up any of the land that they've conquered at this point. And we do see one starport coming up for Iris and Machine Shop spinning as well. Uh, don't know what that's for, but we do know that Iris is probably thinking about going dropships here. And the one thing in TVT is raids completely dominate dropships. So Nada here might be thinking about just shutting down all mobility, all dropships for Iris. Uh, yeah, what do you think, Ranchin? This is getting really interesting. 
Yeah, the wraiths are now being re revealed. Just as we see that six wraiths coming out, seven or eight wraiths, in fact. Some Goliaths being produced on the opposite side. They're just going to go there for the tanks. Of course, such a large number of wraiths can actually do quite a large amount, a large amount of damage. Taking out two tanks so far. Now going to go for a third one. Vultures and tanks are moving out from the back as well. What not <laughs> did perfectly there prevented the scout, the vulture scout from Iris. Iris had no idea this was coming his way. Now the wraiths knocking on his tanks, taking out three or four so far. Even more Goliaths now finally coming in, but I think not about actually go for it. Now he might actually fly for the SCV line, still taking out tanks, actually probably took out the Goliaths. Oh my god, not an ultimate moving with the tanks, not a lot of them, but only one single. Okay, four Goliaths now moving in to protect against the Wraiths. I think at this point Wraiths should be flying back. Yeah, they should. So, of course, he's lost one Wraith there in the exchange, but I think he'll definitely take it. Took out four, five, maybe even six tanks. Iris has still a very large number of them. Goliaths trying to move in close, but Wraiths, I think, at the larger number of Wraiths, still taking out some Goliaths and losing some Wraiths there. So, he has to be very careful to try to keep his Wraith number up. Still no control tower up for him, probably deciding not to uh, invest in control tower. Has his. Th uh, I don't know if he has his third up yet. I know he. I saw him put up a command center earlier on. I think he might have actually be taking his inside 11 o'clock or even thinking of taking his 12 o'clock. I don't quite see on the map. They haven't really showed it too well. Iris, I think, still has an economic advantage. Just the large amount of forces he on the ground he has on the ground definitely attests to that. Just a huge number of tanks. And now it's actually Nada that's re really resorting. Yeah, he is putting down his inside 11 o'clock, resorting to using his vultures as a mobile ground army to just put forces on the ground everywhere actually now moving his uh, control uh, adding a control tower as well as moving his tarpets around a little bit to make it a little more comfortable for him just putting down a middle position has rates all over the place has some tanks basically what he's trying to do here is set iris up into a position where he control him trying to pincer him in trying to make sure that not is not capable of min uh, iris is not capable of any mobility iris now moving out trying to clear out some mines but also landing in the midst of some tank fire not, not actually also moving in some uh, Vulture on the opposite side, actually now going to start attacking up this ridge, there are some Goliaths, but of course the Wraiths help in spotting against the SCVs, also helping and shelling the SCVs at the third base of Iris, Iris forced to move his CV away from that position. And the opposite at the north, actually, Iris is actually moving in quite a few tanks and glides and vultures. Gonna spot the third base of Nada. Nada doesn't have too much in the way of defense. Mine's being planted down by Iris, and he has a lot of tanks of so I think this position of Nada is actually very dangerous. We can see what he actually decides to send his forces back to defend. No, he actually keeps the attack going on the third base of Iris because he knows if he takes that down, he will in the most part e uh, equalized economic position finally now moved his tanks away just uh, Iris putting down thinking of putting down his fourth at this point and I just think with the huge amount of forces that Irish ha Iris has Irish because he's Irish but anyway yeah no he's not um, I think Iris will be able to control this game because he still has the larger force despite the fact that Nod did a pretty good job of surprising him with those rates and he's gonna definitely prevent some mobile play now Iris trying to surround the vultures doing a pretty good job and still not a preventing Iris from killing all of his forces that were harassing his third base but at this point I don't think he'll be able to hold it too long we'll probably be able to take out this command center though and as with those rates in play he'll not be able to float it away to safety yeah man Ashin, I gotta agree with you here both players just duking it out all over the map action everywhere epic TVT where we see both players battling each other for expansions and territorial control we do so the raids here still in play doing good job uh, harassing those tanks but one thing I gotta say is although Iris does have the economic advantage and the production advantage both players were able to take out one base each and now the raids are moving in and they're gonna be able to take out that that uh, command center because the command center cannot land because there's a spider mine down there epic battle here the SCVs are trying to repair the command center but the command center cannot land anywhere because there's spider man spider mines on the ground epic missile battle here raids shooting down the command center and SCV trying to repair it Goliath's also gonna be, one Goliath gonna be able to ward away the raids eventually but both players what I wanted to say have each taken out one base each and there's barely enough time due to the, all the action going on for us to really analyze and commentate on what's actually happening in the players mind right now what their strategy is and what what they're